in pain I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing I'm doing okay Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel If you're new, please do subscribe and stick around for the videos to come after this one And if you've been here, thank you so much for your support so today's video is going to be a get ready with me my friends and i were going out to forbidden city and this is a video of me getting ready for that i hope you enjoy the video disclaimer this is in no way a makeup tutorial because i also do not have any idea how to do my makeup however i do what works for me and if you do see something that you think would work for you by all means, take it. And if you have any advice on how I could better my makeup, please do share because a girl needs help. That being said, let's get into the video. I really hope you enjoy this one. So first step is I prep my skin using primer. But before that, I use my day-to-day -day moisturizer because my skin can be a bit iffy. So I first go in with my day-to-day -day moisturizer whichever one is working for me best at that time and then i add my primer after i prep my skin i brush my eyebrows using a spoolie and then i go in with some eyebrow gel i normally use the clear eyebrow gel and then go in with the brown eyebrow wax right about here i realized that my eyebrows are two different shapes yes i know they're not even they're not sisters let alone cousins i don't know their and as what they are but they definitely don't look the same but anyway we sorted that out i believe i did sort it out Then, after brushing my eyebrows and applying the wax, I correct and clean my eyebrows using the foundation that I use on the rest of my skin. Because a girl does not know how different shades of concealer work. Which one goes to the top, which one goes to the bottom, I'm completely clueless. So this works best. I don't have uh, some other color peeping from the top of my eyebrows and my foundation is a different color. It's all one color. When my eyebrows are done, I then move on to foundation. Firstly, I apply foundation on my blemishes, a layer of foundation on my blemishes, and then I blend that. After trying that, I realized that the beauty blender I was using was wiping all the foundation off my face. So I decided to use a brush instead to apply foundation to my face. I have no idea which brush belongs where it's supposed to be doing what. But if you do know which one is the right brush for this, please do comment down below. <music> applying my foundation i went in with an old beauty blender and i used that to blend my face correct me if i'm wrong but this is giving you know that video of that toddler on tiktok doing her makeup and she's beating her face literally beating her face with a beauty blender it's like a fight I don't know where I watched this, but I think I watched a video where someone was saying that to make your makeup last longer, you can try setting in between every step. So I uh, used some setting spray and then I dried that up using a fan because I had no time to wait for it. I was running late. I couldn't wait for it to dry up naturally. <music> When the setting spray is dry, I then go in with baking powder. But instead of baking certain areas, what, what, what? I just bake my entire face. I puff it. Because guys, 
o s a l a y o y o a y Applying my baking powder, I go in with some highlighter, you know, for that glow. Yeah, now when you're outside, with summer, the sun is shining. Your face should shine as well. And then when that was done, I moved on to the lips. I wanted to do a lip combo with some brown liner and gloss. That was clearly an epic fail because my liner broke and then after breaking i realized i went out ah. of brown liner i'm gonna try using red lip liner got that from a friend a dear friend i tried using red lip liner but it just wasn't giving what i wanted it to give so i just started to wipe it off and wear lip gloss just lip gloss <music> And then I had forgotten to set my face after applying the powder, so I did just that. I set my face again, and then I did my lips. For the last step, I applied mascara to my eyelashes to add a bit of volume to them. At this point, I was completely heartbroken because not after wearing this painful headband for hours, three hours tops it decides to come off with the lace i definitely wasn't gonna try and leave this week again not after wearing a band for three hours and then now I have to try and lay it again. No, I decided to step out looking like this. I tried to cover it. And so I covered the lines that I had from wearing the band using some foundation and some powder. And that was it. My face was ready. And that was the end of the makeup part of my get ready with me. And so I moved on to doing my hair. I prepped my wig the previous night using wax. Why wax? Because I had ordered mousse and I didn't get it. And the lady suggested I get wax instead. It does the same thing. It clearly doesn't because my wig was so dry and was just giving synthetic so i decided to comb my curls out to make them soft again and yeah This was the final look with both my hair and makeup done and 
this is a little clip of me acting a fool because hey i tried i thought i was looking good i still believe the makeup was looking nice <laughs> After completing my hair and makeup, I decided to pick out an outfit for the day and this is what I decided to go with. We have reached the end of my get ready with me guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. <music>